Hey everyone, this is Fidel Happy Raja Raven. I'm here with my recap and review of Animal Kingdom season number 6, episode number 12, which is the penultimate episode and it's titled Exodus, which makes sense, which makes sense with everything that happened in this episode and and then this episode laid the groundwork of what to expect in the finale. So yeah, it's time for the Cody. It's time for the Cody's to leave Oceanside. Will they survive the experience? Who knows? Who knows? Because I am, yeah, I'm really expecting a death in the finale, but let's see what happens. Anyway, the episode opens up with uh, Joshua. He is visiting the graves. There's Baz's grave, uh, Smurfs' grave, and then his mom's grave all, is all there. And yeah, he also needs to basically say goodbye to the graveside because according to Smurf, the entire family was supposed to be buried alongside each other, but they can't do that no more because they need to leave Oceanside. They have to leave the family business. And then we cut to Andrew and he's talking to a DA agent. And in the previous episode, we saw that Andrew wanted to talk to someone. And so it turns out that Andrew wanted to talk to the DA agent because he wanted to come up with some sort of an agreement where Andrew would give them information regarding certain court cases and then he will be transported to a, a safer facility and he'll also get protection and all of that stuff. So yeah, Andrew is telling the DA about how he ended up stealing from a yacht while a wedding was going on and how he ended up stealing a lot of stuff and the DA is like, you know what? Uh, and you were all alone in all of those robberies. So yeah, Andrew is like, of course I was. So basically Andrew is still not which makes sense for his character, he is still not snitching on his brothers. And the DA is like, hmm, you know what? I don't buy this. Uh, I'm not going to give you what you what you want unless you give me something big. And this is where Andrew gives the DA something big. He ends up uh, naming a guy called uh, Kobe Bennett. Now, if I remember correctly, I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong. So let me know if I'm wrong. But I think that uh, Andrew uh, Andrew's saying Colby's name is the same Kobe who Darren ended up killing because he was trying to blackmail Darren and also because uh, he wanted to put Adrian in trouble. So I guess, yeah, Andrew's like, you know what? Yeah, there's this dead body in the desert his name is Colby Bennett and I'll take you there if you agree to my terms and the DA is like you know what let's go to the desert and see if the body is even there again I could be wrong but I think that it's the same Kobe that Darren killed again I could be wrong I'm not sure so we cut to Ren and she is yeah in a whole other country with Nick and she's talking to Craig and she's like Craig when are you going to come here? How long are we supposed to stay here? And it's way too hot. And I wasn't even, uh, I didn't even have time to actually to really prepare. I forgot a lot of Nick's stuff and everything. And Craig is like, hey, 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 Ren, I don't worry about it. I'll take care of everything. And as far as me, uh, and as far as you telling me to bring Nick's stuff over, I'm running away from the country, Ren. I'm running away from the country. I can't bring stuff over for Nick. We'll buy stuff in the new country. And Ren is like, yeah, sure. We'll we'll try and be there when, when and if you ever come. So yeah, Craig comes into the garage and there's a whole lot of firepower on the table. And Craig is like, do you really need all of these weapons? And Joshua and Darren are like, well, better safe than sorry. Okay, better safe than sorry. So everyone is getting ready for the plan. And they're like, uh, okay, so what's Andrew doing? And Joshua's like, well, Andrew does have a meeting with the DA. And okay, so Andrew did tell his brothers and his nephew about Bass coming up in his hallucinations and basically telling telling Andrew what to do and everything and yeah the brother yeah the family this family takes it, it uh, all of it in stride and they're like you know what the plan we're all still on top of it we are going to rescue uh, Andrew and they're like okay so the guy that you trusted through Billy are you sure that the guy that guy can be trusted and Andrew's like yeah 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 we can trust him even though Billy Billy's the one uh, that referred him we can still trust him so we get the flashback and yeah, this is where, hmm, this is where Janine ends up finding out that Julia is stealing money from her, which I'm like, really, Julia, you like the fact that Julia even considered stealing money from Smurf. I'm like, Julia, Julia, you need to be smarter. So you need to be smarter. So Smurf goes to this guy to hand him over his cut and he's like, hey, I'm missing a few dollars. I gave you guys 15 spools. And Julia's like, oh, 15 spools. Oh, okay. So of course, you know, the, uh, so, of course, Janine knows that it's Julia who's stealing from her. And then we cut, uh, cut to Darren, and he's taking a lot of money out of the safe from the bar. And, yeah, this is basically Darren saying goodbye to his bar, his dream. And I'm like, oh, Darren, oh, just go and find Adrian. Just go and find Adrian. I really hope that if Darren does survive the finale, I really want a scene where he ends up... Uh, 
ends up getting uh, in touch with Adrian and they hug it out and everything. I really want that scene. Come on, writers, give that to me. So we are at the Cody's residence and uh, Penny's there and Penny's making the Cody's sign uh, some paperwork where basically they are sending like what five million dollars into a single account and Joshua has the power to transfer the money to their individual accounts but only once and when Joshua has done the transfer he won't be allowed to do it anymore and I'm like hmm. They are giving a lot of power to Joshua. And yep, Joshua, of course, does something by the end of this episode. And we'll talk about it uh, when we come to that particular scene. So Penny is sensing a lot of coldness. And yeah, she realizes that something is wrong. And Joshua's like, I'll see you to the door. And Penny's like, is everything okay? Joshua's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, everything is okay. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll, I'll see you later. So we cut to Andrew, his lawyer, and the DA, and he took them to where Colby's body is buried, and the DA is like, well, I I really doubt that we're going to find the body, but yeah, they do, they do find the body, and the DA is like, okay, okay, you got what you wanted, you got what you wanted, but do understand this, Andrew, Cody, you are never going to get out, you are never going to get out, and Andrew's like, yeah, sure, okay, whatever you say. And then we cut to Craig and Darren and they end up meeting this guy and apparently he sells cars or something. And of course, the, the Cody's need cars because they need to run out of the country and they also need a place to hide the weapons. And then flashback, we get to see Julia coming back to the house Then she bought these new clothes and she's showing them off to Andrew. And I'm like, hmm... Considering what happened between these two in the previous episode where Andrew basically kissed Julia, I'm like, shouldn't you two be having some sort, of, some sort of a conversation about what transpired between you two? But I guess Julia is just okay with ignoring any, uh, ignoring that it happened. And she's basically trying to treat Andrew as she normally treats him. And Andrew is like, uh, Julia, Smurf is in your room. And Julia's like, what the heck? So yeah, Smurf is in Julia's room. She ended up uh, basically... Uh, searching all of the nooks and crannies for our crannies for where Julia might have hidden the money. And yeah, she's like, so you have been stealing from me, Julia, huh? And Julia's like, yeah, I've been stealing from you. And it's it's rich coming from you. You're the one who steals from everybody else. And Janine is like, hmm, hmm, Julia, I think I'm going to give you what you want. And Julia's like, what's, what's that? And yeah, Janine is like, freedom. Get out of my house. Get out of my house right now. And Julia's like, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. So Julia starts packing her stuff up. She picks up her car keys. And Janine is like, nah, uh, uh, not like this. These clothes, these are mine. Money, mine. The car that I bought you, it's all mine, Julia. It's all mine. And she ends up basically like pulling Julia, uh, like uh, pulling Julia out of her room into the kitchen. She, I think she even slaps Julia at one point. And Julia screams out to help for, uh, to Andrew. And Andrew is just standing there. And Andrew wants to help. But Janine is like, uh, 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 Andrew, don't get involved. Go back into your room. And of course, Andrew listens to his mom. And yeah, Janine basically drags Julia out of the house. And she is like, you go, you, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to give you any money or anything because it's all mine. And you broke my trust. And yeah, but here are some drugs for you. And she ends up throwing some drugs at Julia. And I'm like, oh, Janine. Oh, but you know what? I can kind of understand where uh, Janine is coming from. Because again, as I said, Julia stealing from Janine, it made no sense. It really made no sense. Of course, of course, Janine was going to act like this. Because again, she is trying to run a family business. And family businesses can't run if you don't have trust. And basically, Julia hasn't always been Janine's favorite child. So there's also that. So we cut to Joshua going to meet Penny and yeah, you can see a whole lot of new furniture and items for Penny and she's settling in. And this is where Joshua ends up telling Penny that, Penny, I need to tell you that uh, my uncles were very cold because yeah, we are going our separate ways. They don't trust me. They don't give me the respect that I want. They think that, I, that I'm too young. So I am basically becoming independent and I'm going out of the country and I want you to come with me. And Penny's like, what? You want me to come with you? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to come with me and I'll take care of everything. I love you, Penny. I love you. And I'm like, Ugh, there has to be something. There, needs, there has to be a reason for why Joshua is keeping Penny around. And yeah, there is a reason that we do get to find out later on in the episode because Joshua falling in love with Penny like actually falling in love I'm like hmm you don't even know that this woman for that long Joshua 
So Darren and Greg are checking the cars that they'll be taking from the guy, and this is where Greg basically explain what explains what the guy does. Basically, something to do with Jiffy Lube. I don't I don't understand cars. I didn't understand what Greg was talking about. And yeah, the, this is where these two talk about how they're going to take cars out of the country across the border, and they're going to figure it out. Apparently, they're going to switch cars uh, during transit. I'm not really sure. So yeah, yeah, th they're doing this. They are doing this. So Janine goes to Baz because she has a suspicions because she thinks that Julia hasn't been acting alone and that Baz is involved in it. Baz is like, no, 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 no. She didn't give me anything. She didn't give me a cut. Uh, trust me, Smurf. I, I would never steal from you. And again, the fact that Baz knew what Janine did to Julia when she realized that she stole from her, the fact that an older Baz still decided to steal from Janine, like, why, Baz? Why would you do that? Why? But yeah, this is where Janina is like, okay, okay, I trust you, and you want this house, right? It's yours, but there is a condition. Julia is not welcome here, Baz. Do you understand me? So she's basically telling Baz that not that he need that he needs to cut off any ties with Julia, and of course Baz, Baz agrees. And this is the, and we get a weird scene where Janine ends up kissing Baz right on the lips, and I'm like, oh, oh. and yeah, then she walks out. So Craig, Darren, and Joshua are going over the maps. They're going over the plan. Uh, they need to do this. And this is where Joshua is like, hey, hey, I have a suggestion. Uh, do you have those chips, those tracking chips? Uh, we can give one of those to uh, uh, Andrew and then we'll figure out, and then we'll get to see where he is. And uh, Darren is like, well, they are going to search him, right? I don't think that he'll be able to hide the chip. And Joshua is like, hey, don't worry about it. Give me the chip. We, I, I'll give it to Andrew and he'll figure it out. And the expression on Joshua's face when, he's talk, when he suggested the chip, I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Joshua is up to something. Joshua is clearly up to something. So Andrew is, of course, disappointed that Janine ended up uh, dragging Julia out of the house. And Janine is like, hey, Andrew, don't worry about it, baby boy. I'm still here. You're still here. Baz is still here. And uh, hey, I am running a family business. And again, she broke our trust, Andrew. And we can't run a family business without trust. And then there's a call and Janine... Uh, and Janine doesn't answer uh, so because it's it, she knows that it's Julia calling and she's like pick up Andrew pick up please pick up and of course no one picks up and the sun is setting it's going to get cold and Julia doesn't have any money she needs to figure out where she needs to spend the night and then we cut to Andrew he's in a, he's in jail and uh, Joshua comes to visit him and he brings these uh, Polaroids for Andrew to look at and uh, it has his pictures his uh, Joshua's mom's pictures and everything and now one of the, uh, now in one of the pictures Andrew ended up hiding that chip and uh, no Joshua my bad Joshua ended up hiding that chip and Andrew takes it out and he and Joshua's like yeah keep the chip with you okay you need to you need to figure out a way to use this and then we cut to Greg and Darren and they're out surfing and they got, Darren hasn't been feeling it and Greg is like, okay, so you didn't, you didn't basically catch any of the waves, Darren. And Darren's like, you know what? It doesn't really matter. I'll be getting better waves in Indonesia. And of course, uh, Darren is going to Indonesia because he wants to be with Adrian. And this is where Greg is like, well, are you going to call him? And Darren is like, you know what, Craig? Frankly, I'm not even sure if he wants to hear from me anymore. And, uh, and Greg is like, hey, hey, hey. You still need to try it, okay? You still need to contact him because if you ask me, the the moments that I saw you being truly happy are the moments when you were with Adrian. And again, again, the finale needs to give us uh, needs to give us Darren and Adrian getting to meet each other. The finale needs to give us that. So we cut to Julia. Of course, she goes to Baz for help. And Baz is like, no, 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 Julia. I understand your predicament. I feel sorry for you, but you can't be here because Smurf came to my house. And she was like, you know what? If you help Julia, I'm going to kick you out too, Baz. And I don't want that, Julia. I don't want to be kicked out of the business. And Julia's like, okay, so that's it, huh? That's it. I was stealing the money. And I was stealing the money to help Andrew. And he's like, no, no, you were stealing the money to help yourself, Julia. You have to face the consequences. And he tries to give money to Julia. She doesn't take it. And yeah, basically, he's like, Julia, you need to leave. So Julia has nowhere else to go. And then we cut to Craig and Darren. They're getting ready to go home. But on the Jeep, someone ended up writing, like, what, split or something? Basically, you're calling them scaredy caps. And yeah, we get to see these three guys, and they are taunting the Cody's. And I'm like, really? Really? You are taunting the Cody's? Really? And of course, Darren and Craig are like, hey, let's do this, right? One last time. And they're like, yep, for old time's sake. And they end up beating these three guys up and... <laughs> I'm like, what were these three expecting? What did they think were, were, was going to happen? 
So Joshua decides to pay Benny a visit at her office and Benny's like, oh, I thought we were going to go out for lunch or dinner. Uh, why are you here? And Joshua's like, well, I need your help. In this in this flash drive, uh, there are certain changes that I want to uh, that I want you to make to all the paperwork that my uncle signed. So basically, Joshua wants uh, power over the transfers, the money transfer thing for like per for permanently. And Penny's like, that's illegal, Joshua. I can get into a lot of trouble for changing the document and everything without letting all of the without letting all of the individuals involved um, know about these changes. And Joshua's like, Penny, Penny, I need you to do this as a favor for me. And then he ends up lying to Penny that my uncles are very dangerous. Andrew is a murderer. My uncles now want to murder me, and they want to take all of the money for themselves. And Penny, you have to help me, Penny. You have to help me. And of course. Penny agrees. So I was like, oh, so this is why Joshua kept Penny around. Okay, okay. So again, it's sunset. She needs to find a place to uh, spend the night. And this is where Julia ends up uh, meeting a guy named Tar. I'm not really sure if his name is Tar or if it's Trope, Torn or something, or Trop. I'm not really sure. But apparently he's been at Baz's parties. He recognizes Julia and he's like, hey, you seem anxious. And he ends up offering her those, uh, a very some very powerful drugs. And Julia's like, no, 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 I'm not into that. I'm not into that. He's like, okay, okay, I understand. And he walks away and he's like, hey, it's going to get cold uh, soon, but I'm heading to this party. If you want to come with me, you can come. And Julia's like, yeah, 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 I'll follow. I'll follow you. So she, of course, follows this guy. And then we get this entire scene where Andrew figures out how to hide the chip. So basically his plan is that he's going to uh, basically open the wound, open the wound where that guy from the jail ended up stabbing him. And he opens the wound up again. He places the chip right in and then he, uh, then he like basically, uh, uh, it was bad. It was very weird. It was gross. It was, uh, yee. <laughs> but yeah he ended up hiding the chip so there's that and then we cut to Greg talking to Ren and Greg is like hey Ren I'm almost there but I do have a question for you I'm bringing a lot of money but I'm also bringing something else and he ends up showing one of the diamonds that Joshua ended up giving it back to his uncles I think these are, yeah these are the same di diamonds that they stole but they couldn't be sold off so they're like you know what we'll probably end up using these diamonds on in the other in the other countries that we'll be moving to and Greg basically asks Ren to marry her and Ren says yes Ren of course says yes and I'm like hmm considering that Greg has, has is basically getting a whole lot of happiness coming towards him uh, soon I have a feeling that something bad is going to happen to him I hope not but yeah let's see again I'm not really sure if all of the Cody's will be surviving the ordeal so it's nighttime and or maybe it's day yeah it's still daytime and yeah Greg and Darren are like well we're doing this and also where's Joshua and Darren's like well he should be here but I'll message him I'll message Joshua and he ends up messaging Joshua Joshua is basically at the same lot where Greg and Darren were recently uh, trying uh, checking out the cars and everything and I'm like Joshua yep Joshua is up to something Joshua is up to something and the finale is going to be amazing I like like I really want to I really want to watch the finale so th this should have been a two episode finale, you know, personally, in my opinion. So uh, Janine in the in the flashback, Janine gets a call. She picks it up. It's this random girl who ended up who was attending the part the same party that Julia was in, and she's like, uh, "Mrs. Uh, Cody, uh, I can see Janine laying on the beach. She's high. She needs help. So can I bring her home? Can someone pick her up?" And yes, yeah, so Janine is like, "Well, you know what? Call someone who gives a." who gives who cares about who gives the s and like who cares about janine and please don't call me again and she hangs up and i'm like oh really smurf really you're going to hand you're going to treat julia like that and then andrea's like who was it and julie and janine and janine of course uh, lies to andrea and, she, and she's like well it was just a realtor because i'm planning to buy a whole lot of houses on the strand and, and andrea's like why why and janine's like for us baby for us for our future and then we cut to Darren and Greg still waiting for Joshua and he walks in and they're like, where the heck were you? And he's like, well, I was just saying goodbye to Penny. It was hard. And Greg is like, yeah, 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 we understand now. Uh, pull up a chair, grab a beer, stay with us. And Joshua's like, no, 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 no. I, it's a big day tomorrow. I'm busy. So I guess I'll, I'll go to sleep. And I'm like, mm -hmm, yeah, sure. Sleep. 
So Joshua goes into his room, he opens up his... Pla oh, oh, I moved the table. <laughs> so he goes into his room, he opens up the laptop, and yeah, because he asks Penny to make those changes, he logs into a the account and he ends up transferring like more than $5 million to his own personal account, he leaving, leaving his uncles like, what, only $10? And I'm like, really, Joshua? Really? This is bad. This is bad. I think his uncles are going to figure out what Joshua did in the finale. They have to figure that out, right? They, they, they have to. And of course, I'm looking forward to seeing what Joshua has planned for everyone because he went, again, he went to that lot where uh, they're going to get the cars from and the stash the weapons. I think Joshua did something. I think he did something there. So the episode ends with Andrew being uh, transported. And yeah, Andrew is just happy because he knows that his, that his brothers and nephew are going to come and get him to rescue him and he'll be free soon. And yeah, if I end up doing a written review, review of this for the Geek Theory, the link to my review will be down in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought of the penultimate episode. It was... It was intense, especially because of what Josh... It was, yeah, it was interesting, especially because of what Joshua is planning. Like, what did you do, Joshua? What did you do? <laughs> And again, I really hope that his uncles figure it out and Joshua ends up facing the consequences. Let's see. Let's see. Anyway, let me know what you thought of the episode down in the comment section below. And until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed. See you guys later.